where everyone belongs um, and what that means for the YMCA and for you guys as LITs. So let's start this up. Okay, so I'm going to ask you guys a series of questions and I want you to just raise your hand. You don't have to tell your story, just raise your hand as I ask the questions. Everybody cool with that? Okay, so raise your hand if you have ever been teased.
definitely can happen over the phone, over the internet, things like that. So we want to make sure that we want to make sure that everybody understands where it can happen and then the, what you can do to help it. So I'm not going to read all of this, um, but just to give a little overview of the statistics for bullying. 165,000 children miss school every day due to bullying. Raise your hand if you've ever encountered a classmate that did not come to school because they were being bullied. Eighty-five percent of the bullying incidents on the happen on the playground or in the classroom. And when I when it says playground, that's for little kids. Um, but classrooms is for everybody. It happens all the time. It happens in the hallway. It happens in the locker rooms. It happens on sports fields. So these are all things that occur um, in places that we go. Forty-five percent of middle school reported bullying problems compared to just over twenty percent of both elementary and high school students. And one in five teens reported being bullied while at school in 2009. This is 2009. Can y'all imagine all the things that have, were any of y'all born after 2009? No. So you guys can't imagine 2009, but y'all can imagine now. Imagine all the cases we've seen on the news, all the things we've seen happen in our school, all the things we've seen online regarding bullying. It is happening more frequently now, and we, this LIT group that we have in here, and plus the LITs that are not here, I want you guys to be equipped to say, like, no matter if I'm in the LIT program, or I'm at school, or I'm at the park, or I'm at the, on, on the basketball court, like, if I see bullying happen, happen, these are things that I can do to stop it, or to intervene in it. So, I want you guys to... If not, if bullying is not stopped at the elementary level, it can get worse in middle school, as we have seen, and then it can carry on into high school. Um, the offense can be more severe. We see teens, we see preteens that are like eight, nine, 10, 11 year olds um, committing, unaliving themselves, let's say that, unaliving themselves. So we wanna make sure that we, when we see it now, when we see it tomorrow or the next day or next week, that we can stop that because these are things that we can help prevent. Or, or these these are things that we can help. These are things that we can help um, other people see to help them. We might not be able to stop somebody from doing something, but at least we can put the right people in their path to help them. And even, I know you guys are 12, 13, 14, 15 year olds, you still have power to intervene. You still have the power to help. So we wanna make sure that you guys are doing that. So, can anybody tell me what bullying is? Anybody? It could be like somebody picking on some of these things that are already here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, what about somebody else? Anybody else want to give it a try on the definition? Thing the next day, and the same thing the next day. 
That is bullying. It's something that's repeated over time. So these are the things that we're looking for at LIT. These are things we're looking for as staff to make sure that we stand up and say something about them. Okay, so teasing and bullying. Teasing is unfortunately a part of growing up. So everybody's gonna experience teasing. You get teased by your siblings, you get teased by your friends. It's a part of growing up, but it does not have to be severe. Um, it is different from being bullied. Teasing becomes bullying when it is repeat, repeated or when there is conscious intent to hurt another child. So when someone teases you over and over again, that is turning into bullying. It's no longer teasing. Teasing is like a joke here or a joke like a month later, but it's not something that happens all the time. I wanna make sure you guys know the difference between this because you guys will encounter teasing, but I do not want you to encounter bullying. So you guys, during the LIT program, you will be put into group meetings. Um, one thing about group meetings, and I'll tell y'all this up front, you should not be allowed to delete your comments out of group meetings. So once it's there, it's there for everybody to see. So with that being said, if you are private messaging somebody and we find out about it, guess what that means for you in the program? Oh, you're done in the program. But we cannot stop a parent from going any further than just kicking you guys out of the program. Be mindful of this. For the teens that just watch or you comment, but you just, you're not the one that initiated it, and something happens to a person, guess what? You're still at fault. So cyberbullying can be emailing, inst instant messaging, I don't know if y'all do that anymore, instant messaging, texting, um, it says leaving voicemail, but who does that? Um, so Snapchatting, Facebook, Twitter, all of those, so TikTok, Instagram, all of those things that you guys use, so, um, all of those websites that you guys use, when you're in the program, you should not be on your phone in the first place. If we catch you bullying someone while you're in the program, you are you are automatically removed from the program. This is a leaders and training program. We wanna make sure that you guys are understanding of that. If you find out that bullying has happened through GroupMe or any other thing, I know that teams like to get together and create their own GroupMe where the counselors are left out of it. If you, we find out that there's bullying going on, every team that was a part of it will be removed from the program. That has happened in one of my programs before. We want to make sure that it does not happen because parents like to take things beyond us. So be mindful. Be mindful of that. If you know of that and you're not a part of it, say something. It, like I said, it does not make you a snitch when you tell. But it can keep somebody from hurting themselves or hurting others.
But yeah, um, pack bullying happens more in middle school and high school. One on one bullying happens more in elementary schools. Okay, you guys, who do you think can be a bully? Shout out your answers. Everyone. <laughs> So a bully can be anyone. It can be somebody who, it's someone who wants power, someone willing to use others to get what he or she wants. Um, they're concerned with his or her own desires rather than think about anyone else. They find it difficult to see things from someone else's perspective. They can come from any economic, cultural, religious, or religious background. They can have either low or high self-esteem. They have positive attitude towards violence. They have a quick temper and difficulty conforming to rules, and they gain satisfaction from inflicting injury and receive rewards, prestige, etc., from their behavior. So those are the that is the criteria of a bully. Who can be the target? Okay, the bullying circle. So what do you guys think make up a bullying circle? So like, what is the name of the person that you think make up the bullying circle? The victim, okay? I've never been a bully. 
but I've been somebody that stood there and not like what was going on, but didn't say anything. I've been the person that stood there and like said something. So I've been both on both sides. So don't feel embarrassed because you've been there and you stood there and you didn't like what was going on, but you didn't say anything. Don't feel embarrassed if you were the one that said something. Don't feel embarrassed if you were the bully, because if you're here today, that means that you don't want to be that person. Because everybody knows that a leader is not a bully. So make sure you're like, if you have questions saying something, or you feel too scared to say something to that bully, you have all of us LIT people that will be in the center. You have other center staff. It does not have to be us. If you don't see us, and you're with the camp staff or membership lead, and you see it happening, let them know. If you see another adult bullying another adult, do not be afraid. It happens. Gossiping. So what is a type of bullying? Gossiping is a type of bullying. If you see it happening, let another adult know. Everybody understand that? Okay. Yes, do y'all have any questions? Yes. Does anybody have any questions so far? So the effects of bullying. So those who stand out as different in some ways due to appearance, sexual orientation, disability, intellect, socioeconomic background, race, cultural or religious backgrounds are the ones that are normally targeted. Especially in today's society, people get picked on for the smallest thing. Your shoestrings can be too short and you're getting picked on in today's society. Which is a sad thing, but it's a true thing. Um, I am going to share a video with you guys. 